I've set up an outdoor bathroom and I've really embraced recycling and repurposing. This has been a really fun project and I know you'll enjoy it. I picked up some steel, it was rusty and it had loads of unwanted welding points. I ground off the bits I didn't need. I cleaned it up and I got two usable lengths. I found some old posts in a skip. I picked up two steel posts in a clearance sale for a dollar each. And then I set about welding all the pieces together to make a frame. Here's the frame in place. An old double bed I had lying around donated its slats and I'll use this as decking. I cut a bath shape hole in a piece of varnish ply and I installed the decking. I still had a hole I didn't have enough material for. A neighbour's shed turned up some offcuts, so I'm going to use these. A while ago I collected a truck full of pavers that I had no intended use for. I've now thought of something. I put the bath in the hole and it's starting to come together. I even ended up with some offcuts for the wood stove. I used some recycled sleepers to make some access steps and I put a few more pavers down. The connectors for the solar panels are one inch flange couplings. I don't have any of these. I purchased some heater hose and some clamps from a car store. This will let me join the flanges to copper pipes. This video is covered in full detail in part two of the ebook How to Build an Off-Grid Shipping Container House. Here's how it works. I fill up my barrel with cold water. The water starts at about 20 to 22 degrees. It's gravity fed from the silver tank further up the hill. I have to fill it higher than the water pipe from the solar panel. So here it is full. The water comes out the silver flexible coupling it goes round the copper pipe and into the bottom. It comes through the right angle bend into the bottom of the solar panel, rises up the panel and comes out the hot side at the top. From there it flows into the top of the water barrel, but below the level of the water. This flow is called thermosiphon and it occurs naturally. I don't pump anything. The output feed to supply the bath is slightly above the cold outlet pipe. I open two valves and it'll feed directly into the bath. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon I measure 52 degrees C on the water. I saw temperatures of 70 degrees on the manifold in full sun. At 8 o'clock in the evening my tub was at 47 degrees C. I opened the valves and filled the bath. The water was too hot so I had to add some cold from my green tank. I soaked in my hot tub for over an hour as the sun went down just watching the stars at night. It's delightful. I added a bracket so I can have a sunshade umbrella and I brought the gargoyles out of retirement. After I've had my bath I leave the plug in and the following day I have a bath of cold water. This is actually very pleasant throughout the day to have a quick dip. When I feel the water is past its best I simply use it to water the garden After the plants have been watered, I simply pull the plug out and it flows into the banana circle. There are a number of aspects to the bathroom that I know I'll refine and improve, but for now the bath's fully operational and wonderful. Subscribe now for more of our adventure. You can see the ebooks in more detail at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com where you can purchase your own copy. 
Thanks for watching. For information on the ebook, go to buildshippingcontainerhouse.com. To follow our progress, subscribe on YouTube or you can follow us on containerhouse.wordpress.com.